Hey YouTube, what's going on? Just a quick video today um, on the Coleman Lantern. This is a Coleman dual fuel model. This is the second one I've I've owned. I, I, the first one I had when I was a kid, um, and it was a uh, single lantern. This one has has the two mantles up there, and uh, works really well. But you know, I had to put an electrical outlet in my garage here and uh, the light from my my shop lights made this corner kind of dark so I needed a little bit of help seeing and I thought I wonder if I still have fuel in that Coleman Lantern and sure enough I did which is not a good thing so um, I, I lit it up and uh, it fired right up so I'm gonna leave it on and burn the fuel out but what I wanted to do is kind of show you how this lantern works and uh, see if I can show you that anyway. And of course, I don't have any matches, but this is the primer pump. There's a uh, little uh, hole here, and you give this thing a turn, just a quick little turn to break the seal, and you pump it 20 times or so, and then you close, you, you turn it back, holding your thumb over the little hole so that the air that you just pressurize the tank with doesn't escape. You close it and uh, leave it right there, and then here's your here's your uh, fuel and air mixture. I'm just going to use my little micro torch here, get that bad boy up there, and turn the fuel on. And there we go. Quick like that. I think that went. Oh, it's close. go so there's there's the extra fuel burning off as I turn it up lower the handle down and there it goes this burns on gasoline regular unleaded gasoline or it will burn on Coleman camp stove uh, fuel which is what I prefer to use in it but boy, it's quiet, isn't it? That's about you, know, you can you can set this thing at a really low um, light level. Um, when the power goes off, it's perfect. It does throw some heat. You want to make sure you don't touch the top, and you also want to make sure you don't leave this standing up because you can see that I did, and it gets hot, and it'll twist that that metal so leave that and you also don't want to grab it because after a while this thing will get really warm but not only does it burn really clean but uh, it throws a lot of light and you can see how much light that actually throws and I've used this for camping I've used it for I use it for fishing at night it's been terrific for doing that um, when the power goes off, if you're into prepping and being prepared, uh, this fuel is very inexpensive and it'll run for hours. I mean, you, if you put this thing on a, on a lower setting, this thing will run for 12 hours or more. The other one I have just needs a good cleaning, the other dual fuel model, and that thing even runs longer. So I bought this thing about a year or so ago, two years ago. I got it at Walmart. You can get it in a number of other stores, but just wanted to show you that. I think it's a great uh, thing for everybody to have, no matter whether you're um, a camper, a hunter, or just a, someone who likes to be prepared for power outages or any other types of disasters that might happen. So um, there it is, the Coleman Dual Fuel Lantern. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate everybody taking the time out to uh, watch my videos. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.